An understanding of the basic aspects of conveyor belt pull is essential to properly designing, operating, and maintaining belt conveyors. We will use imperial units in this video. While the belt pull calculation to move discrete packages on a slider bed conveyor is relatively simple to understand and use, the calculation to move bulk materials is more complex. We will review how to move discrete packages on a slider bed in this short video. We know that the power required to move a load on a belt conveyor equals belt pull times belt speed. Belt pull times belt speed equals required power. The belt pull required to move packages on a slider bed conveyor equals the total weight of all packages plus the weight of the belt times the coefficient of friction between the bottom of the conveyor belt and the top of the slider bed. The total weight of the load plus the weight of the belt times the frictional coefficient between the bottom of the conveyor belt and the top of the slider bed. For example, if a 10 foot long conveyor moves five 50 pound boxes simultaneously at a belt speed of 50 feet per minute on a conveyor belt with a weight of three pounds per foot on a slider bed with a frictional coefficient of 0.5, then the belt pull is calculated as follows. Five packages at 50 pounds per package plus the weight of the belt, which is 10 feet on the slider bed, times three pounds per foot. 50 pounds per box times five boxes is 250 pounds. Three pounds per foot of belt times 10 feet of belt equals 30 pounds. For the total load on the slider bed is 250 pounds plus 30 pounds or 280 pounds. Since the total weight times the frictional coefficient equals belt pull, we can now calculate required power. Total weight times frictional coefficient equals required belt pull. 280 pounds of total load times a frictional coefficient of 0.5 equals a belt pull requirement of 140 pounds. Now we can convert this to power. A belt pull of 140 pounds times a belt speed of 50 feet per minute equates to a required power of 7,000 foot-pounds per minute. We can now convert that to a useful unit. In imperial units, we know that one horsepower equals 33,000 foot-pounds per minute. Therefore, our power requirement of 7,000 foot-pounds per minute can be converted using this equation. 7,000 foot-pounds per minute divided by 33,000 foot-pounds per minute per horsepower equals a power requirement of 0.2 horsepower. Now we can make a selection of an appropriate conveyor drive system. We hope you found this short video useful. For additional conveyor design, operation, and maintenance tips, go to RomecaCorp.com. Thank you very much.